Good morning, my baby daddies. I'm sick, so I might have snot my nose. I'm sorry. February 8th, and it's about to be 7 o'clock. 6.57, y'all. I've been waking up so early for the past few days. I've been jet lagged. I haven't been vlogging. I have to get up the France vlog, so I'm working on that. But currently, if you can't tell, I'm at the airport. You see that lighting, buddy? I am going to San Diego for my friend Jennifer's birthday. Damn, this lighting is psychotic. I bought my ticket yesterday. I didn't want, I didn't think I was gonna make it because like, can you see my eyes? They're fucking swollen. I should probably be sleeping right now. But I feel like if I sleep, I'm gonna sleep a long time. And it's not because I'm tired. It's mostly because my body's trying to readjust. It's so weird how the world works and how humans like adjust to time and shit. Like, my body is trying so hard, but I've never been like the type of person that had a normal sleep schedule. So my body is just tripping right now. Like, what the fuck? Hold up, hold up. Because I was just getting used to Paris. And now you're going to come out here doing all this fuck shit. You know, it got used to Paris, which is closer to my sleep schedule or to my sleep pattern. Anyways, but now I'm trying to go back to my regular sleep schedule. But my regular sleep schedule is just like a whole nother world. I'll be going to sleep at 8 o'clock in the morning. That's not right. But recently I've been going to sleep at eight o'clock at night <laughs> or six o'clock at night. I was trying to tell you guys in the last clip when I was driving back to Vegas that I was going through some bullshit trying to get here like it was snowing and there's like this hill that goes up and then comes down. So I was literally passing the exit. My phone was trying to make me exit. And I was like, I ain't exiting. So I kept driving. And when I got to where I was supposed to be, I was like, oh, word, traffic and the traffic was like for 10 miles. So it was like, oh, made a U-turn, right? I made that U-turn and it took me to that exit again. I exited, I was just being triumphant, you know what I'm saying? You know how I be, you know how I be gassing myself. My navigation would not reroute and give me like the old navigation, the old way it told me to go. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna figure this out. So I started like zooming in on the maps and I found like a, a little route that took me a whole hour into the boonies, y'all, up the mountain into the snow and then down. And then I got back on the freeway and continued home to the super stressful. OMG, Manny, Manny, Manny. What the fuck are you doing? I called you Manny, my back. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? I'm trying to text Huh? Texas. But what are you doing here then? This is my stopover. Oh, oh damn. I'm going to Vegas. I'm sorry. See, I'm not. <laughs> going to San Diego. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let me get a double shot of Hennessy. <laughs> it's only what, three hours? Oh. Dang. So why can't I just order a double shot of Hennessy? You gotta stay strong. What? You gotta stay strong? <laughs> That's funny. And I got a whiskey sour. That looks like a double dip. My sister, she's back here now. Yeah, she just moved back. You, you ready to be on camera? I'm showing the world my pre my pregnant cousin. Oh, look it! This is Linda, my cousin. How many months? Six, right? Um, yeah, six. Six months pregnant. She picked me up from the airport. We're at with Urban Outfitters, and we're just checking it out because we're waiting for our breakfast spot. So, find anything? Oh! I can't even do it like I don't even understand like my best friend is pregnant too and I just can't I'm just like I can't believe you have a human being inside your in your body how is it gonna come out how I'm like I don't know so where am I at what's the name of this place Snooze. snooze so we're at snooze I want to taste you have to try it I got the steak benedict and the ham benedict, and she got some French toast, sausage, and eggs. I'm about to kill this real quick. So I just got to the Airbnb. This shit's crazy. It's really nice. It's really nice. Doing my vlogging. It's a three bedroom room. Closets all along the mirror. You know, girls like that. Got a bathroom with a big old tub. Okay. I need these mirrors for my house for sure. 
There's another bathroom. Everything is so cute. But the sex dungeon is my favorite part. <laughs> we might pregame. So y'all gonna come over here to pregame with us? Linda? Here's the backyard. I got a washer and a dryer. I said when it's time to pregame, y'all gonna come pregame? Since there's this much space. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's a birthday girl's room. And she has a sex dungeon, but I'm gonna let them find this themselves because I had to find it myself. Look. <laughs> Shit's crazy. But yeah, I'm the first one here. My cousin and her husband brought me. So we already did our little grand tour. I don't want to have to do it when everybody gets in, so. A black bathroom seems a little bit weird. Yeah? yeah. Everything is black. I feel like they didn't feel like. Look at all these kitchens. We out here party with y'all. So I didn't bring out my camera. We did a whole bunch of errands right now. Time to get ready. Look at how everybody's just looking at me. shower going. Um, madame, there's another shower. I'm getting ready. See? Oni. Yes. Oni. Hey, vlog, I know you guys missed me. Jennifer. I'm too sure. Oni. Oh. You know that there's another shower where you need to use right now. No, Queen's in there. Queen's right here. Queen. Oh. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> you see her little move? She said. <laughs> What's up, Queen? And the fuck? You were sleeping the whole time. Look at this is a real African queen here. She is motherfucker. She improvised, okay? I was like, how you gonna fry that? There's no pan big enough. We got these. I thought she was gonna throw it in the oven, and she threw them and she threw oil in the motherfucking pan. And <laughs> like, come on, pull through, and them shits is cooked. You cooked it right too, my dear. As in your your mother. Oh, whoop, oh, oh, see, and the ass is fat too. Are you single? Tell the people. Very, very single, someone come and thank me. <laughs> is there gonna be birthday a bitch. Two times for the birthday bitch. Three times for the what? birthday bitch. What? You gonna turn up? Turn up like that bitch.
We did too much just right now. <laughs> Y'all childish. <laughs> Look at this people. Mm -hmm. I want to try one more to get in. Details. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Cuddlebugs. Part two today, Poe. Is she the good one? Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. I thought you were talking about the Adele song. Turn down the music a little bit. Is this the phone? Okay. So we had Ify make her wings again. The best flavor. She made the buffalo one yesterday too, but the barbecue ones is what was really hitting. So I'm gonna do a wing review. Anybody wanna come in this review with me? Yes. Grab your wings, come on. wings are literally a 10 out of 10. Hey. Okay, let's do our review. So okay. you ready to take your bite? Fine. Hold it. Okay. Come on, Queen. You gonna first take a bite? Today, guys. It's first okay. bite. First, first bite of, of Uso. Oh wait, at, Queen coming. At, um, first, EP's um, EP's Jennifer, EP's you coming EP's for the review? EP's yeah. Come on, don't bite it yet. We about to do a review on this wing. First bite of oh my goodness, gracious. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, go. Here we go. Tastes like I need to give that. You know. Wait, Jesus wait, wait. says yes. No man can say no. Mm. Mm. When there's a way, there's a way. Mm. 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 Mm.
I'm back home. Chris picked me up from the airport and I stopped and got some Panda Express. And there's this big old box outside my apartment. I don't know what it is. But it's not heavy. I thought it was from Fashion Nova. But I don't think clothes would be this light where I'm holding it with one finger. Probably like three pounds. Let's see what we got here. Maybe I can figure it out by the address. Jet, Jet Fay. International Jet Face Jet Face. I mean, sometimes I'm nervous to open boxes, but let's see. Jet Face looks like clothes. What? <laughs> it's not clothes. <laughs> It's not clothes, oh gee. <laughs> it's a fucking teddy bear. On my phone. It's a teddy. Somebody sent me a teddy. Oh, but it doesn't say on the shipping label, it doesn't say who it's from. OMG. I love teddy bears. Somebody that knows I love teddy bears. <laughs> well, I think that this came from somebody to be Clyde. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> Welcome home. Mm. I love you. I love teddy bears. They're like pets that you don't have to feed. He's a big one, too. <laughs> you know I'm five foot ten. He's pretty tall. He's like five foot tall. Maybe four feet. Oh, let me call Clyde. It's from joyfay.com, by the way. In case you want to get your girl a big old fat teddy bear like this. Hey guys, I haven't talked to y'all in a minute. But low key, I didn't even bring the camera to show you the shirt, but I just remembered I had it on when I turned the camera on. So I'm gonna tell you guys about this little shirt. It's a little cute little backstory to it. So as you can see, the shirt is very poorly made if you want to say that. Um, it's a cute top. It's a beautiful top. But who the hell stitched that together? I did. Okay? There was a point in my life where I thought I was going to be um, a fashion designer. My sister sews. And so me and her, I would come up with the ideas and then she would help me stitch it or she'll help me cut it out and I'll stitch it because she used to not want to do all the extra work. So I would, she would cut it out, cut out the pattern for me and I'll stitch it because she's talented like that. She's really good with like, um, she would, she would just kind of measure me and figure out like the sizes and how it's supposed to be. And then we'll, you know, work together type shit. So I made this shirt because I was like, Oh, I had an, I, I had an idea for a few pieces. I wish I could find the other pieces because while I was cleaning, the closet I found these fabrics a whole bunch of fabrics and one of my friends actually made this top for me it's um she crochet she crocheted it yeah she crocheted that shit it is it was popping at the time it might be even better now because I've lost a little bit of weight but so you see this is what it looks like it's actually functioning you can like untie it hopefully y'all can't see the titties it's meant to be like this okay and then you can wrap it around and you can tie it at the back like that. This top was created before Fashion Nova was a thing. And also, to make it very clear, Fashion Nova doesn't make tops like these. Okay? And look at the back. For a really long time, I've been wanting to start a clothing line. Um, I just don't have like a seamstress and um, the funds to be able to do actual designs like this. But I did want to show you guys like the beginning stages. As you can see, the stitching is horrible. 
<laughs> it's laughable. And the material I got from Salvation Army, it was a tablecloth. So this is actually tablecloth material, but I liked the fact that it was a beautiful color and then it had kind of like texture to it. So I was like, let's use this. And you know, I just thought it was really cute. And you could tie it in the front as well as you guys saw when I first turned the camera on. But I feel like everything about it was just perfect. You see how I did it? So it's like a vest. So you just put it on as if it's a vest and then you tie it around. I'm super stoked that my vision of being a business owner, owning a fashion boutique is what I'm doing right now. But I do want to go down the route of making more um, clothing that's very general, very specific to Amara's website. So although there's still some banging pieces on the website, as you can see, I still have a whole bunch of banging pieces behind me. I do want to like take a hiatus from it and like focus on doing like more specific pieces like I'm like I'm making 30 of these and once this sells out that's it you know like maybe drop one or two every every other month or something like that that's what I more want to get into um but obviously I need the budget for that so everything takes time and money but anyways the reason why I turn on the camera is because I'm going to go through my shoes so as you can see all my shoes are all on the floor all over the place and all through my closet I want to get rid of a whole bunch of shoes because there's obviously a lot of shoes that I'm not using or wearing and I need to get rid of them and put them on my Mercury. So I've already done the clothing in my other room. So today we're going to work on the shoes and I want to be able to show you guys how many there were now and how many I'm going to have after because I really just want to put it in my mind like you're getting rid of them don't hold on to nothing if you haven't worn it in such such amount of time so or if it hurts or blah 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 so yeah if you wear a size 12 make sure you check my mercury because a lot of my shoes I don't wear often I just buy them because I don't have a lot of shoes so I want to have as many options as I can but now it's getting out of hand so <laughs> We're gonna go through these, okay? Talk to you in a bit. So here are all the shoes I'm parting with. Actually a lot more than I thought. I thought I was gonna probably get rid of like 10 pairs. This is obviously more than 10 pairs. There's actually some brand new pairs of shoes in here. As you can see, that one still has a price tag at the bottom of it because I never wear them. Like I buy them and I never wear them. Some that I, that was just inside of the Payless haul. I know I'm not gonna wear those because they are kind of tight at my, um, at the front of my feet because I got them a little bit too small. And you know, so it's a whole bunch. Like look at these. Those is cute as shit. But you know, just not my swag anymore. These are cute little flats. You know what I'm saying? I only wore those like twice. These are brand new. <laughs> See some Tory, the strappy ones that everybody was asking about in my shoe haul. I got these BCBGs that are I've only wore it a few times too to see the price tag is still on that. But I wore the hell out of those those times that I wore it. Like I wore them for a lot. I wore it to be walking down the street and stuff like that. But anyways, this is what the closet looks like. You can finally see the floor. I hung up the boots on some pant hangers. If you guys uh, have been trying to figure out how you're going to hang your boots. This was my clever idea. I literally got some pant hangers from Burlington yesterday. I went to Burlington and they were like, you want your hangers? I was like, mm, you know what, let me keep the pant hangers. I was gonna use them for my wigs, but they turned out to be useful here. I put my heels here and I put my flats here. I stacked my flats right there. And then I put my tennies here. But as you can see, there's more tennies there. So it's kind of like just flats here. So yeah. And then obviously I still have like my, these are my novelty shoes. Like these are the shoes that I like. Either I paid a lot of money for or they're just crazy. Like these, these are six inches, like a full six inches. These ones too. These ones are like some dope ass like brown gladiator sandals that go all the way up to your knee. These ones are my stripper boots. <laughs> and they're like sock material. So these ones are really nice to wear too if you have a reason to wear them. I got some really like chunky like um, combat heel boots and then I got these these has ta these have like tassels on them they're like the cowgirl type wedges they look like they should be comfortable right but I don't know if you can see that heel they're super steep so I rarely wear those and then I really love these shoes like I should have gotten rid of them a long time ago but I just love the pattern on them um, but I don't wear them anymore not for any reason but I, I just don't <laughs> wear them anymore but yeah, and then these ones are another pair of six-inch pumps. 
and I only wear those for videos <laughs> and pictures. I'm about to go to the gym and I might see you guys tomorrow. Like I'm just now I'm just kind of checking in simultaneously, you know, to like let you guys know the cool things that I'm doing. I'm not really vlogging my whole entire day, if you haven't noticed. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. I'm at ah! <laughs> Christina, <laughs> we're all hot ass messing in today. We, can't, we all got the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. We all got the catfish yeah. and um, <laughs> catfish and shrimp. Period. And we're gonna try this all and see how our faces make. We'll see what our faces I'm so happy. Me <laughs> too, girl. I'm so happy. Shit. Oh. This is Lola, so we never tried it, but one of my baby daddies told me to try it. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask that guy girls because we have this guy. You guys doing? I want someone else to try theirs. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I'm so excited. Mm, mm, mm. How is it? Delicioso. <laughs> <laughs> Yum, what's that? That's a sarbi sauce. Oh. Ooh. I'm gonna need them to double this. The portion is right. double. I thought it was gonna be way more. I need to go to the That's where Clyde is right now. Really? What's he doing? He was there for work. Uh, this was, look at these motherfuckers. They ain't nothing. Oh. Look at look at my plate. And and I use bread and <laughs> and sucked up the juices too. Look at you. Full plate of food. I'm ashamed. Hey guys, so we are literally on the top of the world. <laughs> um, we came to the stratosphere to come eat my battery like that. Oh my god. I'm gonna show you. I'm with Chinyaka. So this is super cute tonight. Battery's about to die, so I'm gonna show you guys quickly. It's very beautiful. If I have more battery, I'll show you guys what we get to eat. And the brown coloring that you see in there, that's lobster stock. And then they also cook off some brandy in there too, so you might taste a little bit of sweetness to it too. So do enjoy. Thank you. You're very welcome. Are you today? We have a cupcake. Thank you. Saffron on the outside of the crack cake, tucked it underneath the summer room. Also, both of you will share both of these dishes, both of them are perfect. Hello, honey. So, oh my gosh, so much food. I got space. Yes, please. Please. Oh, we got the creme brulee. Yeah, you did ask for that. But I didn't mind. I said I don't mind, but yeah, you did say. Oh, hey, I'm in South Dakota, by the way. Let me show y'all the snow real quick. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> I know why I'm here, but I don't want to be here. Oh yeah. Snow, snow, snow. Hello. Where you at? It's cold. Oh, so walk that way. I'm by the Legion sign too. Oh, gee, look at the snow. It, it's snow. It's snow. It's snow. Snow. It's snow. I, I'm outside in the fucking cold in the fucking snow, man. You don't see me? I have on pink. I don't know. This is your car right here? You got your car back? Oh yee! Oh yee! Look at the poppies. Hey! Look at that big old smile! Don't try to hide it now. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. A little bit. You better miss me a lot next time. I can't believe it's freaking snowing like this. It's not that cold though. It's not as cold as Paris. Uh oh. I don't know how this works. I got snow on my feet. Alright, that's why I'm the rubber man. Thanks. Stop the cold of snow. Bitch. Whoa. Clyde! I have to pee. I was thinking, should I pee inside of there? Come get me, I said. He said, Kate, okay, coming to get you. He's gonna carry me out. Come on, jump. I said, jump? Jump. No, take my bag. I thought you were gonna jump. No, you're gonna carry me. Huh. <laughs> Come on. Uh -huh. It's not even deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not. <laughs> you thought it was deep? Yeah. Thank you. Nice. No running? Oh, I need a scarf. This is how I got sick in France. Mm -hmm. This is how I got sick in France. I still got my headphones on like a freaking tourist. Huh? I told you to bring me a jacket. Oh. We look like twins whenever I don't have no hair on my head. <laughs> Margarita and a mojito. I only got 2%. I don't know if I even have um, extra battery. Anyways, Clyde flew me out here because he wants to give me a cute little Valentine's Day um, vacation. Why am I here? Why you're here? Because you just wanted to see me so damn much. Hello. I just figured out that we're going on a spa day. I didn't say anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he was saying, oh, my body's sore, my body's sore. I said, my body's sore too. We should go get massages. And he was like, I would tell you a secret, but I know you don't know how to keep a secret. So I know we are getting massages. If you don't know how to keep a secret. <laughs> okay. Okay. I did not say anything like that. Anyways, y'all gonna see. They gonna see. I know you're gonna eat off of it too. I ain't eating off of that. Why not? Yeah, I am. I'm gonna eat some of those. I got a salad. He got a whole bunch of wings. What type of sauce is this? Blessed Lord, amen. Amen. Stop doing like that. until their heart gives out. Mm. <laughs> Look what I found. Top of my bag. <laughs> A little shark tooth. Oh, that's cute. 
He went to New Orleans and brought me back a New Orleans mug. I love it. I want some hot chocolate right now. So, Ty brought me back. Oh, I can't even talk over this. So, look at all this goddamn bacon that I got. Look at all this motherfucking bacon, y'all. Two packs. Mmm. You know me so well. You know me so well. This that real shit too. This that stuff. I'm not even gonna say it because that's gonna get too much information on where you work. <laughs> oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> thanks for all the bacon, babe. It's my faves. Yeah. Look at that. It's like cocaine. <laughs> we about to make a snowman. Would you like to build a snowman? Where are we gonna build it at first? We're gonna build it right in the driveway. That means I have to smash it when I'm going in and out. It's not gonna last long. Can you buck me? If you You gotta buck me. Huh? It's not gonna melt. It'll stay. Put them right there on this corner. So yeah, maybe you shovel the snow, give it to me, I'll shape it. Okay, I can do that. Amara has the vision to lead the people. Right. We need a carrot and we need two ro black rocks. No, we need a lot of black rocks. <laughs> uh, son of a... Son of a... Sure. <laughs> Right. So I shovel the snow to you. Oh shit, we're never gonna get done at this rate. It's the fluffy snow. What's your, what's your best school then? Oh, you're going to Disappointed it's not the snow that holds. Maybe we'll get some how tomorrow. Do you, how do you figure how to get Well sometimes the snow is really wet and heavy. Sometimes it's just light and fluffy. So what is that wet and heavy stuff? It'll really stick to the ground. But like this, it's a light. All of our plans are being ruined. Huh. I hate it. I hate this Thursday. Huh. <laughs> Well, that was a fail. The snow was fluffy or some shit. Can't even make a can't even make a snowball, let alone let alone a snowman. Who do we who do we complain to about this? God Almighty. Alright. Let's go pray. Damn. What you making? You got a little saucy wassy in there? And he be cooking, y'all. Mmm. -hmm. You know I love food. You know the way to your to your lady's heart. To her motherfucking stomach. Mm -hmm. Give me food. Give me food. Yeah. Running out of juices. What's that? What is the saucy made right here? What's in it? 
kill you. What? I can tell you, but then I have to kill you. It's not that good. <laughs> Okay, so thank you. Thank you much. That's it? That's it. You got your salted caramel going on. Ugh, who else drinks this nasty shit? This salted caramel shit. You know, give me a little, you know, something, something. Put a little something, something. This mine's right here. Mine is tequila. Damn. It's the weekend. If you had orange juice, I would have been perfect. Oh my god, it's tequila sunrise. The lives. But I'm just waiting to eat. <clears throat> I've been eating all day. And it's 11 o'clock right now. You have been eating all day? Mm-hmm. And it's 11.20. I know how you be. I know you be trying to starve me and stuff. But then, you know, he makes it up at the end of the night with giving me some shit to drink. I mean, some shit to eat. Barca. I'm gonna watch it on TV. Oh, wait, what the heck? What happened? I was watching, um, I was watching Big Mouth. But I guess that's over. We had a little snack party right here and then I got tired of it really quick. I said, go make some food. I did it. Mm, thank you. Looks like he made jollof rice, y'all, but it's not. It is something else. It's a little different, but it tastes pretty similar. Like I said, if it had some habanero in it, maybe some crayfish. Some crawfish. Crayfish, I don't know if it's different from what the black people be eating, but we call it crawfish. It's like a dry shrimp. And crayfish, like okay, crawfish is those those things we get from um, hot and juicy, right? But do you know what crayfish? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Okay, yeah. And then the African one is a little different. So I'm gonna wait for him. Try this on your fish. This is some Liberian stuff. Habanero. That's what it is. This needs to go on the rice. Put it on whatever you want. Ooh. You know, habanero, that spice hits you after. I can taste it. Woo! Good morning, y'all. So we are about to go. He's already told me to go get massages as well. He doesn't know how to keep a secret for a shit. But I got my period in pain. First day is always the worst. But um, this banana actually just helped me a lot right now. There you go. Putting this stuff in the truck. We're gonna stay in Sioux Falls this afternoon. Or this evening, sorry. Um, I'm just gonna go with the flow. See what, where today takes me. It's always an adventure with Clyde. So. <sighs> I might need a little food in my system last night. I didn't know how much I drank. You know how sometimes when you're just drinking, you don't catch it? Like, especially when you're drinking at home, that's what happened. I drank so much, I laid down and started spinning. So he, he poured a whole bunch of salt in my mouth and I swallowed it and just threw everything up. So I threw up last night. Yeah, definitely threw up last night. I don't remember much of what else happened because I don't know how I got that drunk. Like, I don't remember. I know that last cup I poured was mostly tequila. I didn't. I was already tipsy by the time I was pouring the last cup, so I was just like, I just poured it, like you know. It was like half a cup of tequila. Like who do I think I am? That's how much I drink in total. Like, why would I drink that? Why would that be my last cup? Oh man, I fucked myself up. I have a headache and stuff. I took some leave, so that should help me with my headache and with my cramps. Ooh, it's cold. Oh, y'all want to see the snow? I'll show you when we pull out. It's a little dusted. You see the sidewalk? That's the amount of snow that fell. A little animal feet prints. There's in the backyard. 
like you can see that nobody walks back there except for animals. Yeah. You can see little animal foot tracks in the back. Yeah. That's just like me saying, oh, it's like you dating someone that's 16, right? Nowhere is that legal. Nowhere. Exactly. No, no, no. It is legal. In Vegas, consenting age is 16. Like you said, in Vegas is legal, but it's still against the law, Where depending on where you're from. So just stay away from it. Yeah. Ooh, sauna massage. That's the name of the place. For that, allow it. We can't record? They don't gotta know. Everybody hey, gonna sleep. you like it? I have salt all over my face. That room that I just showed you guys on the way out um, was a salt room. So you go in there, they turn some type of blow dryer on or something like that. And um, I guess it blew salt around. I can tell because my hair like, looks crazy. <laughs> and my face has salt all over it. So it worked. I want to give that lady a tip. Let me borrow 20. I don't have enough. Don't worry, it's fine. You have to assimilate to our culture. <laughs> but um, what do I want to say? It's only 50 for these. What? He only charged me $50 for those pictures because it took him like three months to finish them. But, um,. Yeah, I'm cool with that, shoot. Take as long as you want. You could do it for free too, shoot. You take another month off. <laughs> Dang. But um, what I wanna say, now we're gonna go check in to our suite, our honeymoon suite. regular suite the client called trying to make them change it because he didn't intend to book a regular suite and the lady wasn't trying to have it so I called back you know just out a little bit not really though thank you and she gave us a new room so let's see what this one looks like mm. oh shit I should have showed them what the first one looked like first. Dang. <laughs> no, this isn't the one that did, this is the presidential. So, yeah, she, this is, she said that the jacuzzi is, is inside the bathroom in this one. Yeah, so it's not like the jacuzzi that you were talking about, it's like a tub. So, Clyde booked a room with a jacuzzi. Well, at least he thought he did. And they gave us a room that didn't have a jacuzzi. It was actually really small. <laughs> and then he calls, he's like, hey, I called and I asked what rooms have jacuzzis and they told me the king room, so I booked the king room. And the girl was like, oh yeah, well I don't see any jacuzzi on your reservation. And he was like, but, I did reserve it, like I did it, you know? She's like, no, but I don't see any notes here. He's like, okay, and hangs up. I was like, so what happened? <laughs> he was like, she said that there's no notes. I'm like, get out the way, let me call him. So I call him, I'm like, are you the manager? She said, 
yeah, front desk manager. I was like, all right, so either we're gonna need a reimbursement or we're gonna need a jacuzzi in our room. And she was like, hold on one second. I said a little bit more than that, but you know, you get the gist. And she was like, oh, well, we don't have any more king rooms, but we do have a presidential suite. And so that's what we got. Let's take you on a tour of the president's house. Start here, the office area, and we got the dining area, and then we got the bar, and then we got the living area, and then we got the entertainment area, and then we got the guest bathroom where Clyde poops. <laughs> Two times, give me my dollar. That right, twice. Here's the bedroom. Hola, como esta? My pants are all sagging and shit. <laughs> and here's the bathroom. His and hers. Countertops, stand up shower, and a jacuzzi tub. So it's not the actual full on jacuzzi that we wanted, but. The room is so much bigger, so much better. Hmm. I guess what I want. Clyde. <laughs> Look at Clyde, looking all fancy and snazzy. How are you? Can you smile? Why do you always look so angry and can't? You guys, he's a little snuggly bear, but every time the camera comes on or whenever, <laughs> whatever picture is about to be taken, he turns into this little mean looking, Monster, smile. Uh, snuggly bear. You're a snuggly bear. Appetizer. <laughs> Some rib. I'm um, not a ribeye. Ribs. <laughs> oh my God. We're at a fancy restaurant. And we just ugh, get up. <laughs> Thank you. Just give me the whole rib, man. <laughs> Let's throw the whole thing on there. Mm -hmm. Why you give me the big one? No, take this one. Mm. <laughs> See, everything nice. I ordered this. And then you go complain and now you want it. Everything nice. <laughs> Could have gotten pork. So I don't know what that would be for because it's good. Got the crab cakes. We'll serve with the lady. Yeah. Ooh, that looks bad. And here is the butter and the cinnamon and brown sugar. Mm -hmm. And of course, the cauliflower steak as well. Thank you. Nice for both of you. All right. Is there anything else I can get either of you in? Okay, for now. Excellent. Please enjoy. Thank you. And. Hey, John, how are you, sir? Good. Okay. Oh, good evening. Well, this is so good. Well, this is my second. They had mac and cheese on there. On the side. Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> I get my veggies in. Unlike some people. I don't even touch my food. <laughs> Last five. It's like a nut they put in there that I don't like. That's mine. He got a cauliflower steak. Okay. What's this? Lamb azabuka. Lamb azabuka. It's good. Mm. I brought a book for you as well, so thank you. I'll bring you going over. Thank you. Right. Mm, that looks bomb. Hi, guys. I know you haven't seen me for a minute, but this is what I look like. We are at Maury's Steakhouse in South Dakota. Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And we just finished eating. We had a lovely dessert. It was lovely. Here's my rich boyfriend. Mm. He's a millionaire. Mm. And we eat at steakhouses like this all the time. Our bill was $700. <laughs> What's you have for that? So, yeah, chop chop. Go pull my car around.
waiter get my coat. <laughs> Feeling real bougie right now. And we're the only people in here because we asked them to clear out all of the peasants that were in here when we walked in. So, it's just us. <laughs> You hear the music? Exquisite. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, see, told you. And I got curbside assistance as well. We are there. Two minutes. Don't tell me when to be in here. Two minutes. AIS. I'm a queen. <clears throat> Let well, me pack my jacket too, don't you? Let me pack my two phones. <laughs> <laughs> my coat, not my jacket. My coat. This purse, I bought it today. $3,000. Mm. This is real bare fur. You can touch it. Oh, you can't touch it. <laughs> Here. Go get the car. <laughs> Go get the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I forgot I was on my period. I hope I didn't make a mess. Clyde, come back. Clyde! Oh damn. Come here. I just want to make sure that I have not, I have not blood. No? Okay. Cool. Snow is coming down. Oh, and it's snowing. <laughs> he told me where my jacket was. Got my jacket. My coat, my coat, got my coat. <laughs> I would like for you guys to see my outfit, so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I got the whole outfit from Nova. Fashion Nova, but I don't know a fancier way to say it, so. The coat is He's stuck in the snow. Yeah, just bringing my Range Rover around. This is the restaurant, by the way. Very beautiful restaurant. It's actually snowing outside. It's nighttime, but because it's so white outside, it looks like there might be some sun or something. Here comes the Range Rover. Covered in snow. Just like I like it. Oh my God. What's the snow trying to fight? Oh, the valet is just cleaning off the range. Clean off the range, valet. <laughs> Ooh. This restaurant has got me feeling so bougie. The restaurant and this makeup. I got my makeup done by the makeup artist of Beyonce. Yeah, take off all the snow. Sick of this snow. <sighs> I had to get some mints. They were like $6 each. No biggie. I needed them after eating that huge steak. Real prosper. Covered up in snow. Snowman, snowman. Yeah, that's you. Clyde is actually already sleeping. Look at that hair, y'all. Popping. This is Ali Pearl hair. My shit pretty laid, you know what I'm saying? I did that. It sheds a lot. Like, and that was one of the reasons why I didn't like frontals is because I always had to deal with a lot of shedding. I don't like I don't like shedding. Yeah, no, I don't like shedding. You know, I can deal with shedding. I don't I don't like it. But I'm gonna show you guys. And also the curls be popping. So I love it. 
but um they don't i'm not i was gonna say they don't stay long they kind of do but i had it up inside of like this little bonnet thinking it was gonna stay like curled but it didn't so oh yeah and also it's a little bit of tingling in the back so you really have to like do this hair every time you wear it and y'all know i'm lazy when it comes to my hair i don't want to do it every single time this is my fashion Nova dress I knew you guys couldn't see that when I struggled, so that's what it looks like. This is what I look like. And I'm about to take it all off. <laughs> Dinners are so stupid. You get dressed, you look all cute, go to dinner. And then, well, I need to do a makeup look for what I did too, because my makeup is fucking popping. And I did it different than I normally do it. So, yeah. I'm gonna film that. Actually, I've already filmed a makeup look, but that was like a couple of days ago. I didn't do it like this, so I might just film another one after that. Look at this. I've never seen nothing like it. Snow just blowing across the road. We headed to the airport. Hopefully, we can see Jasmine because she is pregnant. I don't even know if y'all know. She's definitely pregnant. Hopefully I can see her before I go. It's crazy, the last vlog, she was in the last vlog when I was here and she wasn't pregnant. Well, she was pregnant, but we didn't know. She didn't tell us yet. So. See her big old belly. She's like six or seven months pregnant now. your belly for the vlog. Ah! <laughs> She's pregnant. <laughs> I know. I was like, 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 I was like